Hey, welcome back. My name is Alex. I'm a freelance videographer and filmmaker, and today we are taking a look at all of the BTS Samsung ads. This first one is the Strange Taylor Shop. Okay, I like that you can already start seeing him. So stuff like that. The camera looks like it's going through the glass, right? But there's just two separate shots. But they have one shot that goes to the glass and then the other shot that starts at the glass and goes to him. And then they kind of just add that little transition and blend them together. It's very aesthetically pleasing. You guys are right, very aesthetically pleasing. Goes right to the phone. They make that phone look amazing. Ooh, okay. It's nice animation with the suit design. Oh, I see, I see. Why does his walking look so strange? Look at how good they made him look. They have a really, really shallow depth of field. So what that means is like the blurriness. Like this is probably like a 1.2 or something. So the background is super, super blurry, but also like his chin and stuff are really blurry. So you're really only focusing on his eyes, but it looks amazing, especially with the nice dramatic lighting. They got the split lights, so only half of his face is lit up. It's nice animation, because they're like accentuating the little stylus thing on the phone. So they have nice shallow depths of field throughout all of this to like really drive our attention. And his walking looked so weird. Oh, that changed a lot, what the heck? Ooh. That's cool. They're do I guess they're doing like the like classy thing with the modern. Cause he took it and now there's a controller on it. That was a nice seamless transition right there. The camera's just like orbiting around him. I like that. And I'm pretty sure that zoom in was to like accentuate the phone, but but I think it was also to make sure that Jin is out of the way. But that zoom in does look really cool. This whole shot just orbiting around, I love it. The phone is always there like. These transitions are cool. Quick little match cuts. Ooh. I like that the music changes every time that the scene changes. Ooh, yes, now we got the flashing lights going on too. I like that they're mixing in some choreography. I say that as someone that doesn't understand choreography, but I know like choreography is a big part of BTS's brand. So like they're mixing everything together. They had to film this whole thing like twice because they like created the same room, but they also have to switch like the tiles and the colors of everything. Like this whole thing is like filmed twice. It's really cool. I love all of the flashing lights. They just add like all of that intensity. Yes, the music too, I love that. They're using a low pass filter to drown out all of the high frequency sounds and having that when they're like fighting and like switching between the two eras. Everything just works so well. I can appreciate that so much. Yes. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, that one was super cool. You guys are right, very aesthetically pleasing. It's only a minute and a half, it was so simple, but I don't know, there's, there's, a, there's a beauty in simplicity. Now this one is a piece of cake. We got the peacock feathers. Ooh, that's a very nice touch right there. That's a very nice touch. The camera's not moving. You don't have to track anything, so you can just slap some text right there, and then you mask around everyone as they're walking. It looks so seamless. It's like a nice, Nice touch, we got grapes, we got the phone. I like that it's the same color phone too. It's like the exact same phone. So they're gonna be baking. Ooh, that shot with J-Hope looks really nice. They, they all look nice. 
but with J-Hope, you get all of the ingredients on the table and the camera's floating over all of those ingredients. So you get more movement within the scene. They have some Rembrandt lighting so you can see the light on his face right here. The table's reflective too, that's something else. And then he's wearing white and the background is all like this dark color so he really, really pops out. And he looks good, obviously. So again, the foam stylus. Okay. That looks good. That's a nice product shot. That looks very, very clean. Very clean. Another thing that they do very well with these ads is the sound design. You're really immersed and like you can really hear every one of these little sounds. Ooh, it's a nice rack focus. Through the grapes or something? Ooh, okay. Wow. Yes, this is really pretty. What the heck? There's like so much going on. There's this nice rack focus to sugar. And then we're able to see V through whatever fruit this is. Yes, all of the sound design. We're seeing it through the lens of the phone and this. Oh, it looks so good. Yes, the rack focusing and just like the framing. Like they're literally creating frames out of everything. Like we're seeing them from so many different perspectives. Like whoever made this is like, oh my God. This little light shining on his face from the little spatula thing, that looks really good. This whole video is literally just them like, hey, focus on this, focus on this, focus on this. That shallow depth of field really, really drives your eyes. So like the background is just, it's just gone. Yes. Oh. Ah, it looks so good. Now we got dancing again. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yes, that's a nice beauty shot. Oh, they look so good. The food looks good. All of the members look good. Look at this little piece of cake just fly up into the air. Like that is so perfect. I like the music to this too. It's like classical, it's very classy. And again, all of the sound design, you're hearing all of these different elements as you're seeing them. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It is so aesthetically pleasing. It is so beautiful. Yes. Oh, so you hear him like blow. Look at that. Yes. It's so pretty. Oh my God. If that doesn't make you want to buy a phone, I don't know what will. That is so beautiful. These were a great suggestion. I don't know if BTS had any say in what these ads look like, but I'm glad that these ads are like as high quality and as beautiful as they are. This one is La Parfumery. Okay. That is nice. Like straight off of the bat, that is beautiful. So now we got RM and Jimin. So is it, it's gonna be this split screen throughout the whole thing. It's got that nice like Westworld, like futuristic look. Okay. Ooh, it's a nice product shot. Look at how aesthetically pleasing that is. Doesn't this look like some crazy like futuristic robots are gonna take over the world kind of a look. Everything is so like gray. It's aesthetically pleasing. It's nice and symmetrical. Okay, there's the color now. Okay, I like this split screening that they got going on. It's a nice way to like show everything. And it definitely fits with the narrative, like two perfumers are getting a new sense and whatever. Look at RM. Look at how nice he looks. Look at how smooth this lighting is on his face. He looks so classy. Ooh. Ooh, whoa. 
Is that his actual hand or is that a 3D model? If it is his hand, then they're using that probe lens. It's like just a little bit bigger than like some chapstick and it can fit through all of these like small places. And it's definitely gonna get you a look like that. Wow, I like that one has color and one doesn't. Look at that beautiful light. So they must have made this light up here like as a giant softbox. Like there's definitely lights underneath of this so that it gets nice and diffused. You get all of these beautiful shadows on his face. Like look at how the light is just falling off. Ooh. Ooh, got these nice like leading lines like going directly to him. At this point, it definitely feels like Jimin is like a bit further. Like that's like what the color kind of means. So like RM is pushed down into the frame. He's like small and he's looking up right now. So like he's like trying to catch up to him. Oh my God, J whoa. Whoa, that is so beautiful. Yes, so beautiful. Ooh, again with the framing. They're using these tools to like drive your eyes to his eyes. And I just love all of the lighting that they have. It's just like so nice and soft. All of this is aesthetically pleasing. Like what, what even is this? This looks amazing. He's like on fire. Wow. That is so beautiful. I love the contrast between both of them. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Oh, beautiful. The pedals. Ooh. Ooh. They used a Zolly, which basically means as you're moving the camera forward, you're zooming out. Or as you're moving the camera back, you're zooming in. You're sitting here not moving, and the background is either getting bigger or smaller. Background's getting smaller, background's getting bigger. Looks amazing. Oh my God, it looks so good. As if this video wasn't like contrast enough, but we got the cool tones and the warm tones. There's so much, I could pick apart so much through this video. It just looks so amazing. Take this shot, for example. The background has that contrast in it. I bet you all of his backgrounds had that contrast. This is so beautiful. <laughs> Makes you wonder like what sense they were making. I think these shots are probably my favorite. I love the LED screen. Using the LED screen and then putting on that same color onto his face and all of the lighting through this is nice and big and soft so that these shadows are so, so soft. Like th it makes them look like paintings. These ads have no right being this beautiful. I wanna give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, specifically Elizabeth, Jemmy, Kimberly, Lisa, Lucas, Melissa, Miss Heiju, and Victoria. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that and all right, all right.